Hi everyone, this is a review on my Ruan lipsticks and if you like to get my take in the few Ruan lipsticks, a small review, see swatches, please keep on watching. Alright, so if you checked out my Facebook page and my blog, you would have seen um, me just post pictures on my Facebook page about the five that I own and then on my blog I actually have um, photos, swatches, I actually have my blog up, swatches of the lipstick with a small review um, attached to it. So this video more or less is just for you to see the live swatches and just a small review and then you can go over to my um, face, my blog and see the rest and we'll see pictures of the swatches. Alright, so packaging wise, this is what it looks like. There's a clear cap, a black base and the tube itself has gold writing. The name of the lipstick is below the packaging and it also comes with a label here that has the barcode, the number of the item and then the name of the product. Um, well, the color that you get which is purple madness in this case. The name of the brand of the product is actually on the barrel, which is gold and black. Looks okay together. They kind of, but some people say they look cheap and tacky. Um, don't really bother me that much. I just want quality pigmented lip products. So this is what pretty much it looks like. And here had actually the price tag. Because I where I purchased these from, they had this stuck a price tag on it. So the price tag was here, and the product actually sits on top of the tube, which I don't like because when you cap it, you tend to sometimes nick it and all of that. And this is as much product. The it packaging is pretty okay. I wouldn't say it's a hundred percent sturdy or the best thing out there, but it's not a flimsy. It does stay up once you wind it up. If you use it halfway, it doesn't move or go down and that kind of stuff. Um, and it's how much product do you get? I am not even sure because it does not say that on it. I don't have. I, I think they came with a black sticker. Yes, I'm seeing evidence that there was another sticker here. And if I'm correct, that stick actually runs as a black sticker that runs all the way to the bottom here, and that should lets you know that is a sealed product. Then you have to remove it. So I think I end up ripping off. I don't have any on mine. So yeah. I can't tell you how much product is in this lipstick. I can research it or go to the store and um, check it and then um, annotate it on my blog or right here in this video. So that's it for packaging. Alright, with availability and pricing of these lipsticks. I purchased all five of mine at um, Pennywise and they were $7.95 um, for each lipstick which works out to 124 US dollars. So they're not expensive, very inexpensive. They're actually at Pennywise one dollar TT more than the Jordana and it also translates in US cost that it work out to just a couple cents more because it's 124 US and I think a Jordana is one sometimes you get them for a dollar, sometimes you can get them for 150 um, US dollars so they're just a couple cents um more than the jordana at pennywise but they are still cheaper if you buy from like cherry culture or even if you go in wonderful world the jordana is a couple dollars difference because i know jordana is like ten dollars at wonderful world but all in all they're pretty inexpensive and these are available in trinidad only from what i know of and in Trinidad, you can get them at Pennywise mainly and then some other beauty supply stores. You can check them out. Some of them do carry this brand. I don't know if they carry it cheaper than Pennywise or more expensive because I've not sourced it. But a friend told me that they also do carry Ruan in a lot of other beauty supply stores across Trinidad and Tobago. Like I said, I own five and I'm going to show you the five that I own. This one is called Cafe Olat or Lit. That's what I this one I actually think is a faulty packaging because this gives me a lot of trouble 
it actually got nicked and all of that because of the of it it behaves really weird so this is what it looks like and i'll do swatches after so this is cafe all arts and i actually this is the nude in the bunch that's what it looks like then the first one i actually purchased was this one called romance because it looked very similar to an estee lauder lipstick that i own this is like a peachy kind of um golden tone lipstick next is the pink and it's what i'm wearing it's called paradise pink it's a blue tone pink no lip line or anything then we have this one called sangria which is like a purple but it has like pink in it and then the last one which is very vampy um it's called purple madness and it's like that dark burgundy purple i was wondering if this um is a dupe to one of max i can't remember heroin i think it's called is it heroin no it's a really dark vampy purple color that a lot of people use for fall into winter it was a hit last season and they rave about it and wet and wild actually has one very similar people create for a rave that it did a dupe to the mac one i was wondering if this was similar but i own neither the mac nor the one from wet and wild so i don't know so that's it for the five that i own now on to the swatches so we start with the nude, the nude color that i have which is cafe olet so i actually really like this it's not a bad nude um, this is two swipes. It's very pigmented. I use this with a lip liner Have no problem for those of you who like my skin tone or even darker. This is like a really great um, Nude I know if you're a darker skin tone this will work amazing as a nude because I have a friend that's darker than me and she uses it The next one is called romance Yeah, romance This is a nice peach golden peach kind of color. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love this. Um, this, like I said, it was the first one that I bought and I really fell in love. Next, we have Paradise Pink. It's what, like I said, it's what I'm wearing. Again, these things are super pigmented. That's another reason why I love them because they're inexpensive and they are pigmented. Then we have Sangria. And this was in a weekly basket already. And sangria is like a frosty blue tone purple more fuchsia kind of color today and again photos are on my blog already and this one is purple madness oh for vamp people who like vampy lipsticks you this is definitely gonna be a fear for you so that's it there I actually am just going to use this one with a with my movie star Milani lip gloss to get it a little more purple more of I, I don't see myself rocking this if you guys are interested in me using this and seeing how it looks on my lips let me know I'll do it, use it in a video for you guys so that's the swatches of it we have cafe all eight a lot this one's paradise is paradise no romance sorry this one is paradise pink hair sangria and purple madness so these are the five I own with swatches all in all i would definitely recommend these lipsticks next to jordana um at pennywise i think these are a good grab on to go to kind of lipsticks i you really enjoy it i like the stain power it doesn't stain as much as the arista lipsticks um but they do stain a little bit but they're not as drying as the arista lipsticks because most arista lipsticks they're very drying and they can also dry out your lips these keep your lips really moisturized and good and i do like them um if i have to rate them i'll give them like a 4.25 i like the cost the only thing that is a hiccup for me are two things one the packaging i really don't like packaging where products come above the cap because it it will you know of course nick as you close it that's one the packaging is a bit flimsy in itself that's with the packaging again and the second issue that i have is that they don't have a wide variety of colors that you can choose from i think it's like maybe 10 12 colors maybe even 15 but it's just not a lot to arrange like nudes they may have this and maybe one or two others so that you can play around and see you know see for yourself but that's the two hiccups for them but i think they are pretty decent and nice would recommend you to check them out 
great bang for your buck great pigmentation and great wear great feel to the lips i think they do have a slight scent i think some of them do have a scent like it's like old time lipstick um no none of these do i think i trashed one i had before um i think that all in itself was just expired because i had it a really long long time but they don't have really any bad kind of scent. Um, they do have a little tinge of the traditional lipstick scent. But that doesn't bother me because I don't really smell it after I put it on. And yeah, that's it. That's my short review swatches of the ones. Would I go out and get more? Not necessarily because I have way too many lip colors um, in my collection. Lipsticks and stuff in my collection. But I'm going to enjoy using these and I use it. Um, the three that I use the most actually are these three. This is um, Romance, Paradise Pink and Cafe Au Lait. I use those a lot more than the other two because they're darker, kind of vampy. But I do use them with my movie star lip gloss from Milani. Yeah, that's what I use them with. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Check out my blog to see pictures of swatches, etc. So until next video, next review, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.